Hello guys, Mac Machine 95 here today. Today we're going to be uh, downgrading this uh, original iPhone uh, 4 gigabyte down to iOS 1.0 from its original version of iOS 3 that's already installed on here. Um, I got this method from a good friend of mine, and I just wanted to show you how to guys how to do it on here from my channel. So um, now, now all of these can actually do this iOS 1.0 downgrade. But it just depends on like what model you have. Um, so I mean, this one is the uh, the 5K revision model, 4 gig, and uh, this one should be downgradable down to iOS 1.0. So um, and I'll show you how to do it. So I'll be right back and set up everything and get it all ready to go. So the thing you'll need is a copy of Windows 7 32-bit for this downgrade because this thing is kind of old and predates the 64-bit architecture. So I'm having it running off my Sony Vio UX. Um, 180p right now. Um, this is a cool little uh, VIO which I might do a video on in the future. But um, to start the downgrade, um, so what we're going to do is you're going to need a copy of the iOS um, 1.0.2 firmware. Um, it is exactly like iOS 1.0. No changes except it has better like syncing and stuff for the, so if you want to put music and stuff on this phone, you can. And you're also going to need a copy of iLiberty, which you can get uh, from my buddy's web server, which I will link in the description. And um, we'll go and uh, we'll go ahead and start the downgrade now. So in order to start it, so we're going to put the phone into DFU. So we're going to go ahead and hold down both buttons, and uh, it'll turn off. And you want to do is you hold the the power button down, and wait for it to come up on the computer here. All right, and now we can set the iPhone down. All right, so now it comes up here on the recovery screen. So, um, so what we do is um, here at the restore, you're gonna hold down shift and um, you're gonna scroll down until you get to your, put your IPSW on your desktop, which is the 1.0.2 update. And uh, we're gonna just hit open and uh, it's gonna uh, extract the software and uh, it should start um, uh, restoring the iPhone in here in a second. And there it goes. And so it's gonna set up preparing iPhone for restore. If your model does not support it, it'll say waiting for iPhone forever. But this one should support it, so it should just take a minute, and it should just move along and restore the iPhone. Now this iPhone does have a little bit of a, some LCD degradation, but it um, it's just in that one little spot. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna set this thing down, let it up, and let it downgrade. And there it goes, it's now, it's now gonna restore the iPhone software. So I'll be right back as soon as that gets done. All right, yeah, so now it's uh, caught, done copying the file system. Now it's gonna verify it, make sure everything's all good. And then after that, it should reboot into the um, activation screen. And from there, we're gonna use the um, iLiberty Plus original first ever jailbreak, I guess you can call it that, um, to uh, move the to get the uh, phone activated and downgraded on the um, firmware and it'll also be unlocked so you can use it on any like 2G carrier, which is like pretty cool. So um, I'll be right back as soon as that thing gets done. Also now it is restoring the iPhone firmware again, uh, just for one uh, final verification to make sure everything's all good and then hopefully it should be done. Okay, whenever it should be finished here, you're gonna get this error. This iPhone cannot be restored. That's because it, it uh, needs to be kicked out of recovery mode to get back into activation. So I'll show you how to do that now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to close out of that and then go into iLiberty. All right, and then we're gonna hit jump out of recovery mode, which is the very top one right here. And it's gonna kick it out of recovery mode. All right, cool. And now we're on the um, we are on the activation screen, 
And notice it says incorrect SIM because it's not uh, activated yet, but we'll show you how to do that in a second. Get the phone unlocked also so you can use it on any 2G carrier. All right, now that you have iLiberty back, back open it up, go to advanced tab and then go to the local payload section. You're going to hit activate 1.02 to 1114 or to 114. And you're going to hit the downgrade the bootloader from 4.6 to 3.9 FB. And you're going to hit the unlock. This will also unlock the phone, like I said, to use on any other carrier. And you're going to select go for it whenever you get those options selected. Now, if you get that error that I just popped up there, so what you're going to do is just open up iTunes and then just close it again. Um, and then uh, close out of iLiberty again and then relaunch it. And then you're going to go back to the advanced tab, local, activate, downgrade, and unlock. And now you're going to select go for it. All right, now you're gonna follow the prompts here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to disconnect the iPhone from power there, and then we're gonna plug it back in. You're gonna hit okay, and now it's gonna boot the device back into um, recovery mode. And then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit it jump out of recovery mode one more time. And then it'll start um, activating and downgrading the phone. And there it is with the iLiberty payload. It's going to do one more reboot and then it's going to go into some more stuff to where it will downgrade it and, and unlock it. Now it's activating it. It's downgrading the uh, the bootloader version, um, which is already on 3.9, thankfully, so I didn't actually have to do that. And now it's gonna unlock the phones where I can use it on any carrier. Pretty cool. I mean, this is a very, very cool way of the downgrading the, the iPhone here. And now it's going to reboot one more time, and it should be in iOS 1.0. All right. Now it's going to bring up that prompt again one more time. And then we are now in iOS 1. 1.0.2 pretty cool pretty cool but yeah that is how to downgrade an original iphone down back to ios or iphone os 1.0 and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to make it explain it as best as i could but um yeah there's another cool video i'll link in the description too that explains more about it but yeah um i hope you guys have a great day and uh thank you for watching have a great day